Direction, the ship's compass. We steer our vessel using the ship's compass, which is an integral part of navigation. The compass notation we use is the north, east, south, west notation, with it broken up into the 16 points or the 8 points. Direction is now given in degrees, 0 to 360. So if we look at the diagram, north, 0 degrees, east, 0, 090 0 degrees, south, 180 degrees, west, 270 degrees. It's important to relate the degrees to direction. So if we look at north, 0 degrees, northeast, 0, 045 degrees, east, 0, 090 0 degrees, southeast, 135 degrees, south, 180 degrees, southwest, 225 degrees, west, 270 degrees, and northwest, 315 degrees. True north. The lines of longitude, as we've seen from our other videos, meet at the geographical poles. So the North Pole and the South Pole, the lines of longitude will meet there. And when we lay this out on a chart, the True North and the Grid North are the same. So when we look at our chart, the vertical lines on the chart going north will lead to True North, going south will lead to True South. The Earth has a magnetic field and our compass points to that magnetic field. So when we look at the Earth, the magnetic field is similar to the field of a bar magnet. It's tilted slightly and it will rotate slightly, so it changes very slightly each year. The magnetic North Pole and the true North Pole are not aligned and they're slightly out. And that's the same for the magnetic South Pole and the true South Pole are not aligned and they're slightly out. And the difference between the magnetic pole and the geographical pole is known as variation. So magnetic north. Magnetic north. So the magnetic north is different, as I said, from the north pole. And the diagram on the right shows the magnetic pole and the north pole. And that will vary each year as the magnetic north and south pole twist around on its axis. Magnetic South Pole and this diagram here shows that the magnetic South Pole and the South Pole are different. The compass points to magnetic north. The compass variation is the difference between true and magnetic. So the compass points to magnetic north. The chart's lines of longitude on the chart go to true north. So the variation will be between the true north and the magnetic north. Compass variation. So variation is either east or west of true north. And this will change as you move around the earth. So on the left hand side of our diagram, there's easterly variation because the magnetic pole is to the east of the North Pole. And on the right hand side of our diagram, there's westerly variation. And this variation will change within one chart. So when we're navigating on the chart, we have to navigate and work out our variation from our nearest compass rows to us. So the magnetic variation is also constantly changing. So the magnetic north on the chart is shown to our nearest compass rows. So if we look at the compass rows, so the main compass rows on the outside dial is aligned to true north or grid north. If we look at the top, it will show us the magnetic north is shown inside the main compass rows showing the variation. And on this one, on the left hand one, it shows a variation of 4 degrees 15 minutes west and that is in 2009. On the right hand one, it says 7 degrees 45 minutes west, and that was in 1992. So the magnetic variation showed on our RYA chart 3. If we look at the various compass roses on our chart, we'll see that the variation varies over the chart if it shows a large area. So here, the compass roses 
are just slightly different in the areas of ROA chart 3. If we look at the compass rows, it will say the variation is 7 degrees 30 minutes west in 2005. So variation, 7 degrees west, 2005. Then there's a bracket after that that says 8 minutes east. So the variation was 7 degrees 30 minutes west in 2005. It's changing 8 minutes east each year. So each year the variation is decreasing. So in 2020 the variation is 15, because it's 15 years since 2005, times 8, each all equals 120 minutes east. 120 minutes is 2 degrees. So 7 degrees 30 minus 2 degrees gives us a variation in 2020 of 5 degrees 30 minutes. So if your chart is not bang up to date, we need to look at the compass rows and adjust for the variation. Well, the good news is we only have to do this once each year. So once you've done it once, you can work on that variation. On your RWA questions, it will tell you in the questions what to use for variation for that question. Finding North. A compass shows directional bearings from magnetic north. We can use a hand bearing compass, which is really handy for measuring bearings of objects and checking if the direction is changing on a vessel for collision avoidance, but we'll cover that in the collision avoidance video. So a hand bearing compass used to measure magnetic direction of sighted objects relative to the user. So the mini compass is rugged, it resists scratches, it's waterproof and when you look down it, it gives you one degree graduations and you can wear it around your neck. So here we are looking at it, there's the sight on the right hand side and it's quite clear when you look through what the, uh, the bearing is. At night it has lum luminescent on it, if that goes dull just shine a torch on it without looking at it so you don't destroy your night vision and it will illuminate it and it will recharge it so it's really handy during the night. So hand bearing compass shows magnetic north. It can also be affected by other magnetic fields such as metal, so if you're standing next to the shrouds or the, uh, the fence around the outside of the boat or electrical or you have your mobile phone near it or a zip or anything like that, it will affect it. Your steering compass. This is the compass that you steer by, sometimes known as the ship's compass. So the magnetic steering compass, it will either be a binnacle, which is standing up by itself next to the wheel, or a bulkhead, which is up against the side of the, uh, the vessel. The binnacle, we can see round a lot more, and it's easy to see when you're steering. The bulkhead, you usually have one either side, and invariably they slightly read different to each other. So magnetic steering compass, if your compass is not exactly aligned to the physical centre, the compass won't tell you an accurate bearing of the boat. So the binnacle compass, so the binnacle compass, the old style, um, will have the compass and it will have the correcting correctors in there and you'll look down at it a more modern one will be next to the wheel with good visibility. Compass deviation. Deviation is the difference between magnetic and the boat's compass. So deviation is caused by the ferrous metal, iron, so it could be the engine, the keel, or another, other major sources of ferrous metal on the boat, and it will deflect the compass slightly. Electrics, all electrics have a magnetic field, which means you should avoid putting any electrical items close to the ship's compass. Correcting for deviation, traditional binnacle will have iron correcting spheres on each side. If the compass is not corrected, you can have a deviation table. So your deviation table will show you how much the deviation is affected on the vessel. As you change course, your deviation will slightly change. 
So there is a RYA deviation table, which is on the inside back cover of our training almanac, and it goes through the ship's head and what the deviation is. So here we go, the RYA deviation table. The same information is presented in two ways, either a graph or with a table. It shows the ship's head and the deviation on that heading. So if we're checking for deviation, we can always check the ship's compass against any transit. A transit is two items that are lined up and we can line them up on the, ch on the chart and draw a line on the chart and then we can look at our compass and check for deviation. Magnetic anomalies. So the Earth's magnetic field is very weak, so it's easily distorted by large metal objects such as wrecks, pipelines, sunken iron objects. Larger distortions are caused by naturally occurring magnetic rock such as granite or iron ore. If we look at the bottom left of RBA chart 3, we will see it's actually marked with that line on the chart. This anomaly on chart 3 can distort the magnetic field by plus or minus 15 degrees. So that symbol on your chart shows that there's a magnetic anomaly so not to trust the compass in that area. Underwater electric cables produce a magnetic field, and through shallow water it can affect the vessel's compass. So wrecks can produce a magnetic field, and then shallow water can also affect the vessel's compass. So that may sound all quite confusing, but in practice we're going to explain to you how to do that by correcting a bearing. So we need to convert either true to compass or back compass to true. I'll explain. So the navigation question. Plotting on the chart refers to true north. The boat's direct direction refers to the ship's compass. So if a helm tells you that he's steering 230 degrees, which is red off the boat's steering compass, plotting on the chart has to always be in true. Or grid north so you must convert compass to true you plot a course to steer on the chart you tell the helmsman which course he wants to steer you must convert true to compass so if you're going from the steering compass to the chart you convert because everything you put on the chart is true if you're taking from the chart everything on the chart is true and you want to steer to that course you have to convert it to a compass course so the helms person can steer that course so converting from the chart to compass. So we draw on a line on the chart, we want to steer in that direction, and we have to convert that from the chart or true to compass. We go from true to magnetic, we apply the variation. The variation we get from the center of the compass rose. Once we've worked out the magnetic, we apply the deviation. The deviation comes from the deviation table. In our exercises it will be from the RWA deviation card which will give us the compass course. I find the easiest way to do this is to write this down vertically with TVMDC on it which stands for true, apply the variation which will give me the magnetic, apply the deviation from the deviation card which will give me the compass and to get me to remember it the mnemonic I use is Cadbury's Dairy Milk Very Tasty. There is another one. It's not politically correct. I'm afraid you'll have to find it elsewhere. So the one we use is Cadbury's Dairy Milk Very Tasty, which gives us true variation magnetic deviation compass. So converting true to compass. So you need direction to be in compass course to tell the helms person which bearing to steer. So we write it out before T V M D C and then we use the aid memoir cadet. So cadet would tell me compass to true add east. So in this diagram if I'm starting from compass here and working towards true it says plus east. I'll say that again. We've got the TVMDC, which I got from Cadbury's Dairy Milk Very Tasty. And we worked out Cadet, which stands for Compass to True Add East. So if I go from Compass 
up to true, I add the east. If the east is positive, then the west is negative. If I'm going the other way, it's the other way around. So if I'm going from true to compass, it's minus east plus west. So the simplest way to do it is to write this down. T, V, M, D, C. Compass, draw an arrow, up to the true, put plus east. Fill the rest in. If it's plus east, it's minus west. If you're going the other way, draw the arrow in. It's the other way around. Minus east, plus west. A lot of people think he's going pretty deep here. I'll just skip this process. I must insist that if you write this out every time, you will never get this wrong. If you skip it, you will get it wrong. And it's one of the few things in, in navigation. If you get this wrong, the error is worse than doing nothing. So please bear with me. So, what is the compass course to steer if the true course is 063 and the variation is 7 degree west? So, we just drew our TVMDC cadet, compass to true, add east. Simply fill in the numbers. So, converting from true to compass, allow for variation. Variation is found at the nearest compass rows on the chart, or it's given in the question. A lot of the RWA exercises will do, it will be given in the question. In this case, variation is 7 degrees west. So, we've got our TVMDC, we've got our true of 63, and variation of 7 degrees west. And because we're going down, west is plus. So, 63 plus 7 west gives us 70. We go to the deviation card, look at 70, and it gives us 2 degrees east east in there, east is minus, so 70 minus 2 gives us 68. So the deviation, where did we find the deviation from? We found it from the deviation card on the inside back cover of the RWA training almanac. So the closest to 70 was 67 and a half, 2 degrees east. Converting compass to true. You need direction to be in true north to plot on the chart. So what is the true course to plot on the chart if the compass course is 64? So we've taken our compass course of 64, we want to plot that on the chart. We have variation of 4 degrees west. First of all, we need to find out what the deviation is. So we find the deviation from the deviation card in the RA training almanac. So the closest is 67 and a half, and our deviation is 2 degrees east. Next, we apply for variation. Variation is 4 degrees. This came from the question. And we pop this in. So we've got the 64 compass. So compass to true. Add east. If it's add east, we subtract the west. So compass, 64. Deviation is 2 degrees east. East is plus. So 64 plus 2 is 66. The variation from the question is 4 degrees west. West is minus, so 66 minus 4 is 62. So with the compass course of 64, our true on the chart is 0, 062 degrees. So the true course to plot on the chart is 0, 062 degrees.